Hey everyone, welcome to Birds of a Feather. I'm going to show you how to do um, a long line hitch to make um, a quasi Japanese float. You've probably seen examples all over the net of decor items that have knotted rope, different from other tutorials that you've seen. Instead of cutting a bunch of pieces of yarn and then making a circle and knotting them all the way around. I'm only using one strand of yarn. So I'm gonna get set up and we'll be back to start. So this is what we're starting with. It's a macrame cord. I'm not sure how many mils it is. I'll have to look that up later. I got this on Amazon. And I'm leaving a tail. It's about two feet. Let's go three. Just approximately like an inch and three quarters. It's our starting. I'm just going to wind around. Okay, so I've wound around to strengthen the starting point and I'm back to the beginning. And I've still got my tail, so let's see how much of a tail I'm left with here to work with because we'll, we will need to knot some of the rows together using this. So we're at a foot, two feet. So we're at two feet, four inches is what I have left after winding around. So now I've got my tail on the left hand side here and I've got my working yarn on the right. I'm just going to unwind a little bit more from the spool. And I'm going to bend a loop down. I'm just going to take this paint stick, kind of measure the width I want or the depth. I'm going to take the working yarn and I'm going to slip it through the center. Then I'm going to come down and loop around. And then I'm going to tighten. And that's my first loop. I'm going to do the same thing just try to remain consistent. I'm going to loop through the center and come down and around and tighten that knot. Turn my work, do another loop, come through the center. And when you do that, you're keeping your working yarn on the right, and then you're bringing it forward, down and around, and through. And then you're tightening off. Okay, off camera I felt that the loops were getting too big on this first row, so I undid it and I'm just starting again. So this time I am going to use the paint stick. I'm going to make sure it's tight. Pull it out. Hold that between your two fingers. 
We're going to come in back, push this through, and we're coming down and we're capturing that loop, bringing it through the middle. As you can see, it's through the middle. Then we're going to tighten this. Just tighten that knot right up. And then just try to make sure it's consistent with the loop beside it. So again, I'm going to bring the paint stick back, loop around it, hold that at the top, slip it out. I'm going to bring this around the back, use my forefinger to push that through. So I've got my loop, I'm going to bring it forward, bring the first loop through the center and then tighten that, pull that down, just going to tighten this up. Now I'll continue in the same manner again. So far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do another five and then for the sixth one we're going to tie it with our tail end. Okay, this next one is going to be number 11, so let's finish this off. So to complete our knot, we've got our working yarn here, we've got our tail end. Just going to bring right over left, and bring the tail end through. Use the paint stick as your guide. And you're going to bring the tail end through again. Remove the paint stick. Your tail end is on the left with your working yarn on the right. So now we're going to bring in this thread stand. I'm just going to put a spool of thread on. I've got a piece of Velcro just to thicken that up. And I've got my centerpiece here. I'm just going to lay that on. And that allows me to rotate as I work.
I'm back with a larger piece of cardboard. This is two and three eighths or six centimeters. So I'm gonna give this a try. So again, you're gonna lift up the loop that you're gonna be working into. Set your cardboard against the edge. I'm gonna pull through. And pull down. And you want your working yarn on the left side here. You're going to pull it so that it's big enough to get your spool through. You're just coming in from underneath and pulling it through. And then you're going to tighten up this knot. And pull your cardboard out. And there's your first space. So rotate, bring back your cardboard, put it under the loop, bring your yarn through, pull it forward, so pull it down. Now you want to twist it so that your working yarn is on the left side. And you're gonna pull it just until it's big enough to get your spool through. And I'm gonna bring it through from underneath. You're not tight. And there you've got two loops. Rotate, bring your card back, put it under the working loop, bring your yarn through, pull it down, ensuring that the working yarn is on the left side. Bring your spool through. And keep pulling. And tighten up that knot. Release the cardboard rotate and basically rinse, wash, and repeat. Each time you get back to the beginning where your tail end is, you're going to knot it together and then proceed with the next row. So here I've got two done. And again, you just have to remember to lift the next loop. And be tied up against that knot. Come through, pull down 
ensure that your working yarn is on the left side as you pull. Bring your spool underneath that loop. And pull tight. Remove your cardboard, rotate your work, and continue on with the next. So I'm going to see where we're at at the end of this third row. Here we are at the end of the third row and I just have it draped over my ball just to see where I'm at. And I think that we can probably get away with one more row and then we can fasten off at the bottom here. So I'm just going to continue that row off camera and then we'll be back to tackle how to finish off. Once you're done the weaving, you're going to take it and you're going to flip it onto your work. I'm just going to take some tape just to hold it. Now I think what I'm going to do is just weave in and out around the bottom here, turning as I go. As you do that, just pull to tighten. Now I'm back to the beginning. So I'm going to flip this upside down. to get it even. I think what I'm going to do is enlist the help of this tape here just so that it doesn't roll around on me. Now I'll take the ends here and just try to pull it tighter. Tighten it as much as you can. And you can move things around just to even it out a little. An extra set of hands would be really handy right now. Just try to hold it as you knot it. There. Now you can distribute evenly around. And there you go. To hold the cut ends secure before I do cut them, 
I'm just going to split the cord. I've got a bodkin here. I'm going to insert the tail end through the bodkin, through the eye. and then pull it through. It's going to want to catch on this tape, so you can release the tape so that it pulls through easily. There. And if you like, you can go through another one or just give it a snip. Um, maybe I'll go through another one, just so that it's hidden behind. So I'm going to insert through some of these fibers. Once again, I'm going to come through the eye. and just wriggle it through. And there you go. That'll be good and secure. Now carefully cut it. And that should be nice and neat. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the working end. But first I'm going to snip it off. And I'll do the same thing and then cut. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications of our upcoming projects.